This is the result of an accuracy test on a Vostok. This is a Vostok Komandarsky uh, KGB communist model. I figure if you're going to have a Russian watch, you might as well get the KGB edition. Um, so last night at this time, I synchronized it with my, my Vair watch. This one runs an American AmeriQuartz movement that's really accurate. So it doesn't really lose any time per day. And this watch doesn't hack. You can't stop the second hand. So I waited for it to die. And then I waited for the, the second hand to get to the top here and got it rolling at that time and then wound it up. So this is with a full wind over 24 hours. We're looking at, this one's on the three now. So about eight seconds off. So your KGB watch, the Komandarsky automatic Russian watch, you're going to lose, no, actually you're going to gain about eight seconds a day. So every seven or eight days, you just move it back a minute and then you're good. So thanks for watching. Hope that helps. If you're watching the watch, if you want to get one of these Russian automatic watches, Automatic watch is never going to be as good as a quartz watch, but that's how much. A lot of them, they'll say plus or minus 10 seconds a day. So it is within that margin of error from the factory. And it's super cool conversation piece when people think that you're a member of the KGB.